Okay, so as you can see, it's 1557, nearly 1558. This one's 923 uh, kilometers to go. So if you add those two together, now 922 there, that's just as it changes over to eight, that makes it pretty much exactly um, 2480 for this particular leg. Oh, level, okay, didn't do that right. Is it supposed to be here? Nope, not, not quite there. I think I need to be on a little bit before I do that. This is not the right one. It's the first, this one here. Not this one either. Příští změna směru po třech stech metrech zatočte vlevo. Yeah, this is the one, isn't it? Because I don't want to be going back the way I came. This one's going to go to Mannheim now, and Karlsruhe in that direction, having left now um, Heilsbronn, Heilbronn rather, all the time going next to the Neckar Valley, which is down there. Um, yeah, oh, here we go, another Polish registered car in front of me, as well as mine being Polish registered. Um, DKL. From Kutsko, I should think, Dolnyshlan Kutsko. Um, and, um, oh, there we go, Bistritsa Kutska, near Kutsko. Um, and, uh, basically, that means that it's easily divided, isn't it? 248, 2480 for this leg of the journey, that is getting to my Hemel Hempstead address, obviously the whole thing then was still back on course for being about 4,400, roughly. What I gained on not going to Prague, I've lost in going to Heilbronn, but that's fine. Had a successful meeting, I think. Got certain things out in the open, which was positive. We've got a way forward, so uh, I'm glad I spent that time on it. And. Uh, One five five nine, which is coming up to one five sixty. How does that divide? What would be from two four eighty? I can see sixteen. Well. Sixteen, um, something, which is going to happen in about um, in about fifty miles. Would mean that would be the uh, the two thirds point, wouldn't it? Through the first leg of the journey from Warsaw to Hemel Hempstead, but via all of those other places I've been in the last few days. Sunday going down to Krakow, Monday going down to Brno, Tuesday going down to Bratislava. Wednesday getting as far as where I was last night, which is Regensburg. Of course, going back, I've only got one night's rest rather than all of those different ones because I don't have so much different stuff to do, so I'm just Sunday night uh, night's rest. Hopefully, I'll be able to do it. But I'll be going in a straight line going back. And instead of being 2,480 that way, whoop, um, it will only be about 1,600, leaving me with about 320 kilometres to cover within England, going from Hemel Hempstead to Cambridge and back, which is about that amount of kilometres, I suppose. Um, not an awful lot else other than that. So still, it's going to be about 4,400 in eight days, covering eight countries. We've already had, um, well, Poland, Czech Republic, Slovakia, and Austria and Germany, so that's five. So we've still got ahead 
Belgium, a little bit of France and Britain. And then we come in, when we come back there's a little bit of France and Belgium and Germany and then straight into Poland. But they're the same countries again, so uh, eight countries in eight days, 4,400 miles, 48 hours in the cars where I thought it would be, but coming up to a third of the time, and I may already have more than that, more than a third of 48 in the car, I might have be closer to 20 hours in the, let's see, whoop, doing, doing it with no hands, is perhaps not so fantastic in the rain, but, um, yeah, elapsed time, 16, 19 hours of car journey time. Um, yeah, finger from handy. Take your hands off your mobile phone. Well, it's not a mobile phone, but never mind. I suppose it's a good, good piece of advice. Let me follow it for a while. This is a nice area. Um, going towards Mannheim, Zinsheim's off in that direction. And uh, there's something called Burg im Kreichgau, which is a. Uh, I can find it. Oh, I can't even see it. But it's uh, like a. like a little castle on top of a hill, but I saw it a moment ago and it's escaped my vision. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Anyway. Zinsheim's over on that side. And uh, I'm expecting something worth showing you to appear. But I'm not exactly sure because I can't remember it that well. Exactly when it's going to appear. This may be it. Oh, isn't it? No, it's not. I was expecting a ruddy great plane to be next to the road. But that's not here. It's not here, is it? Clearly it isn't. That's a bit of a disappointment. I probably just confused it with another space. It can happen when you go a lot of places and you don't go anywhere a lot very frequently. You can get places confused in your mind.